Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am showing a small exercise like how to how we can enter the conduit manually in, into this ladder. So this is the la cable ladder. So we arranged it over here. So how to draw the cable ladder? You already knows that one. So if you are, if you need the draw the cable ladder, so just go to system. So here is a cable tray. Then you need to give the elevation. So then you can get the cable ladder from here. Okay. So you can duplicate also. Like you can go to here, and you can duplicate that one. So whichever systems you need. So you can uh, just create. Uh, that one so in we am just creating a me one so just uh, put that one okay and uh, click okay so then you can uh, draw the ladder okay so like this you can uh, make the uh, ladder simply you can make it the ladder like that so you can apply the filter then it will uh, uh, it will come uh, come the color also so i'm what i'm trying to do here so i just want to run some uh, conduit uh, manually how to run that one i'll show you so for that you just need to go to here in the conduit so i'm just uh, taking this one um, one 100 then first of all i just want to uh, come some cable, uh, conduit from the below part so i'm just uh, giving like a minus thousand then I just want to draw the conduit. So I just go, sorry, I just want to draw the conduit from here like this. So just simply you can draw the conduit like this. So one conduit I just made it. After that, what we'll do, I just want to make one section over there. So just I need to go uh, move the section from here. Just make the one sections. And then um, this is the one conduit. Uh, coming from uh, outside so you can see here in the 3d view uh, sorry then the 3d view you can see uh, i will just uh, stretch that one here and uh, dropping down so you can see here the conduit was passing from below ground and it need to be ended through this shaft to the cable tray so that is what I'm trying and uh, just see how it's work. So just go here and uh, this cable tray, I'll just go up with this one, just making a little bit up. All the cable trays are there cable ladders are there so just i want to make this one up so just go to okay i can move this one over here in this area in this shaft okay so from here i just want to run this cable uh conduit up to this panel for this panel so how i can run that one so just go here and just make one section go to view and uh, so you can give this fine just stretch down this is our conduit okay so then i just want like i can use this shaft and uh, going through this uh, this panel so just uh, draw from here draw conduit so just uh, draw a conduit and after that i'm just uh, making conduit like this okay i'll just make made up to here so if you go to the 3d view so I just want to make it a little bit down. So you can see the conduit was running uh, through the cable ladder. So you can see here it was running to the cable ladder. So if you want to move this one, you can adjust also with this one. So like uh, you can just, this is a manual, manually running um, uh, the uh, conduit, right? So just uh, draw conduit, even if it's a 3D itself, you can just uh, uh, draw the conduit like this. So I'm just want to make it like this. Okay, so sorry, and you just made it up to here. And we need up to the, uh, up to the cable tray up to here, right? So 
just want to make it a little bit. I just want to move adjust this one. Okay. So if you want to see in the 3D view, so you can clearly see it is coming from below, below part like this. So it is coming from the below and it is running through this cable ladder up to the up to the parallel. So in the panel, uh, so what we can do it, we can move the uh, this this one the section and you can just uh, move to here just place up to here right just see how it will work so we'll change this one okay then you just need to be go to view you can see you see the uh, the duct like the conduits are come up over here right like this so from here you just need to be go conduit so you can just drop to the panel finish yeah it is coming like this so if you go to the 3d view again so you can see it was uh, up to the panel it is dropping up to the panel you can see it from here right so um, i'm just undoing that one and going to the section and just uh, uh, draw conduit and i just want to pick it up to here so if you go to the 3d views we can see clearly you can see the conduit was uh, come up over the the panel and after that you can if you need to run uh, run one more uh, conduit so you can go to the parallel conduit i just want only two and the spacing uh, i can give here 150 so you can see 150 or 200 we can give it okay just give it 200 but then you can see here uh, the you can see the that was selecting right so you can just above the conduit and then tab it so automatically what will happen it will generate one more conduit simply you can see it, it was generated one more uh, conduit over it over running through the that is the use for the parallel conduit okay so you can just run the conduit like this and to the panel there here it is a panel electrical panel so it was uh, it was run over here so this is the method like uh, running parallelly uh, the conduit so if you want to uh, make another conduit through another cable tray the same method you can use it even in the 3d view also you can uh, run the uh, draw the uh, conduit okay so just um, create similar so then uh, wherever you want okay for, for example here here you need one conduit so you can just make left from here and just run like this so this is the manual method okay so then uh, you can just go for uh, if you have some other tools okay so you can also make the um, cable uh, conduits from using that one also okay so I'm just uh, so here uh, maybe it was the level is different uh, from here. So the cable tray height is uh, cable ladder height is for 4050. So just need to be move this one height is uh, we can just move the height is 4100. So it will be above the uh, cable ladder. Yeah. So uh, for the uh, parallel conduit. You can sell, go to the select the parallel conduit and uh, you can just tab it so automatically it will create. See, like this, it will create, and you can adjust the uh, the spacing and other thing here. Here, you can just uh, uh, arrange the spacing, like simply you can arrange the spacing like that, and even the same, uh, same for here. So, you can just uh, uh, make the conduit from here, just you, know, you can just uh, draw one conduit from here like this and uh, you can just make the conduit like that make it like this this is the manual method huh? you just if you like my video please subscribe my channels just uh, come come up to here so here also we need to change the uh, uh, change the elevation so this is the uh, ladder uh, height 4290 so just i need to change that one to 5000 i can just make in like 5000 sorry 
will go up. So this one is the 4290. So just uh, change uh, 440. Oh, it's too big high. So 4300. Yeah, so it was, it was more like run like that. If you go to here and uh, we have run one conduit, you can see it was coming up to here, right? So we need just we just we want to drop the conduit. So just to move up to here. So just uh, we just stretch up to here and go to the view. And you can see the uh, conduit was running up to here. So you can just uh, drop down this one up to the panel. And uh, a, and you, what what you can do for uh, the next one. So you can just uh, go to the so we can adjust it a little bit also manually you can adjust it so just uh, adjust this conduit up to here or cable up to here and then what you can do go to parallel conduit then how much you need the three three numbers so select this one tab it to so give the conduit so it will run like this so it will like a, a good exercise if those who are doing the conducting in manually so you can just make the conducting to the panel like this so heavy cables are coming over here so you can run manually like this yep see this one so for for another one we will try one for one one for this one so just select one conduit and I just want to select the from here, like which height is this one? So 3865. So I just want to create similar 39000. Zero, zero. Then I just want to make it top. Even at the 3D view, also you can do that one. Okay. So just I just started from here. Sorry. I just started from this one up to here. So up to here, don't connect with the, the fittings. So it will, it will catch automatically. So you need to make carefully about that one. So up to here, we can run the, sorry, what happened? You can make up to here. So then you just need to be adjust this one. Okay, so automatically it will adjust. And uh, you can see the, the, conduit, the conduit will be, the cable or conduit will be running exactly above the uh, tray. And then uh, you can make the, uh, this one down. Just uh, go up over here and go to view. Just go to view and drop to the panel. Just drop conduit and dropping to the panel. And then if you can go to the 3D view, and then you just need to be select the parallel conduit. So just select that one. So how much numbers, how many numbers you required? So for example, four numbers. Then you just make this one 175. You can reduce the spacing. So it will accommodate the all the conduit are in the tray, tray or ladder like that and manually you can just adjust the uh, uh, size uh, spacing so you can just select the uh, select the conduit then move down like this so it will it will fix to the uh, fix to the planking or or means the the cable ladder so this is a small exercise those who are working in a rivet electrical so if you like my video so please subscribe my channel it is all related to autocad and rivet and if you have any doubt please connect with me thanks for watching thank you